there we go boys all right let's give this a whirl my trailer's kind of pointed to the right right now which is fine we're going to want to pass this spot up and then we're going to want to get back under it What's up guys? We are in Omaha, Nebraska right now. We are picking up a load and taking it down to Waco, Texas to the tractor supply. So whatever we're picking up is something that tractor supply is putting down. So we got to go take it to their DC over there. I'll put a picture up on screen here and you guys can see that there is uh, two entrances to this uh, building. One is on the right side on the road that goes north and south. And then the other one is at the top left of the photo that kind of sweeps into there. Uh, I think I might just try to go in at the uh, north and south road since it's a bigger road. Looks like more of a main entrance. I don't know. Maybe they don't care which one you go into. I gotta pee though, man. I always have to pee right before I get somewhere. It never fails. It's like my body knows. It's like, oh, you're about to get somewhere. That means you're gonna be able to pee. So let's start, you know, sending triggers that you have to use the bathroom. That's going to be like a 750 mile load or something like that, I think. 700 something. All right, so this is going to be a double turn up here, according to my GPS. Yep, that's what the sign up there says, too. The white sign shows that it's a double turn. Oh, well, the left lane's closed anyways get our trailer pulled this way so we're out of the road there we go it's pretty good yeah we probably ain't gonna make this light <laughs> there's another truck there's two trucks in here there's smaller trucks though maybe they'll go fast and maybe i'll get lucky i might have to wait a second time here scooters coffee huh never heard of or have seen a scooters coffee how is scooters coffee guys is that like a Nebraska thing or is that all over? Never tried it. Never heard of it either. Scooters. Come on, truck. Get up, just get up the hill. We're empty. Come on, truck. Come on. Come on, buddy. Shift gears. There we go. Everybody's behind me waiting. Oh, yeah. We're the first freaking one, man. Uh, of course. Of course. It's just the way it works, man. I wouldn't debate it anyways if my truck was faster. That other car pretty much ran that red light. Oh no, they say that when you're, as long as you're you're like already going through it when it's yellow, you're clear, right? So like if you're like up there in the middle and the light turns red, you're clear, right? That's what I've always heard. I need to ask a law enforcement officer or Google it. Oh no, that was always my impression. As long as you were going through the light, like you didn't cross this line right here, after it was red, then that's considered running a red light. I don't know. You YouTube experts tell me. That's exactly what y'all are, is a bunch of YouTube experts, trucking experts, friggin' traffic experts, law experts, weight experts. What else? What else y'all experts about? Legal experts? <laughs> that's YouTube for you, bro. Everybody's an expert on everything. Nothing the YouTuber does is right. Never is. When you're being scrutinized by thousands of people. Three miles. Turn right on Cape Hard Road. It's easy to pick things out. I'm sure not all of y'all are perfect either, man. All you super truckers and haters, none of y'all are perfect. You wish you were, but you're not. And I promise you, if you were under a microscope your first six months, you'd be making boo-boos too. Let's <laughs> get out of here. With all that shenanigans. Oh. Cape Hart Road. We gotta take a ride on in about three miles. And we'll be able to get over to the right here soon. Omaha! Every time I say Omaha or think of Omaha, I think of Peyton Manning. Because you know, before he would hike the ball, he's always like, Omaha! Omaha! <laughs> he likes saying Omaha. I don't know, I always think about that, man. Oh, Peyton Manning, man. I miss Peyton Manning. Uh, I don't like this because I'm going to have to go into the opposing lane and I can't see if anybody's coming from the right, but the old dude's to the 
it's clear, it's clear, it's clear, it's clear, it's clear. Right, now anybody would see me if uh, they were coming. It says to take a right, man. So it should be, it says overhead power lines. I don't see anything that's low. Gotta make sure we watch for that. Stop sign. That's for Turner. We're not going to Turner. It's right up here on the left, man. Gee. Dang, that stuff's wet right over there on the right. I didn't even notice. I could see the tire spray coming off. I didn't notice. It looked all dry to me. I'm just going to keep it really slow. In one half line. Yeah, that's going to be it right there. What the hell? There's a lot more there than it looks like on the satellite. Yeah, a little barn. <laughs> that was cool. No, this is something new here. When that satellite was taken, there was nothing here. And that building looks new, too. Look at it. That is definitely a new building right there. So that's not it. So I was wondering. I was like, that's going to be it right there. That's not it. It's going to be the next one up here. Okay, it's going to be not this left. What does that say? What does that say? Nope, that's the packaging's entrance. With That's not the place. I didn't know if it wrapped to the right. This is it right here, 100%. Yep, there's the docks. Oh man, it's gonna be easy. There we go, that's it, boys. Trucks use SRAM road entrance. Okay. This car's coming, I gotta put my four ways on. Well, crap. <laughs> yeah. Follow directions, man. That's what it said. The only other entrance, according to the satellite, is up here. So I would imagine that this is Shram Road right here. I don't really have to look to know. I guess this is a turning lane. <laughs> I guess it's a turning lane. Looks like a turning lane to me. All right. Complete stop. This is Shram Road. Nobody's coming. We got Tom. Hang this left. There we go. Oxbow Animal Health. So yeah, it's gonna be some animal products. Animal health products is what it's gonna be. Because Tractor Supply has all sorts of uh, animal stuff. All right. This is the Shram Road entrance, man. I mean, it takes you to the same place. I wonder why they don't want you using that other entrance. I mean, it literally takes you to the same place. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's divided. We'll see. There we go. Shipping and receiving entrance. Oh, sometimes you just gotta... God dang, that was a bigger bump than it looked. Take it easy with the trailer. Quite a bit of stuff going on over here. Now we just gotta find the shipping and receiving door. Um, where should I park? Let's just park next to this trailer right here, just so I'm kinda out of the way, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I could go up there and park, but I figured this would be, uh... I don't know out of the way you know what I'm saying there we go just park right here man my trailers out the road right here there's plenty of room for anybody else to maneuver I don't know it's better than right up there where all those trucks are trying to maneuver I don't know always try to park out the way man all right guys well I will be back when I check in all right guys so just checked in with shipping uh, there's a truck over here on the end we have to i'll show you guys in a minute anyways we're gonna have to uh wait for him to pull out 
but you can go around this way where I can pull up and back right in because the docks are straight that way. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a second. But anyways, yeah, look at all that spray. That was just from that road back there. <sighs> all right. And there's plenty of room up there to like turn up and straight. God, I got to clean out this trailer, man. <laughs> well, it gives me something to do. I got to clean that out. I can't have them load it looking like that. I thought about it when I was at the other customer. I said, oh, I got to clean that out. And I meant to do it, but they sent me another load pretty quickly. And I didn't get a chance to do it before I had to start heading here to make my appointment time. You know what I mean? So, oh crap, that'll make it. Should. Yeah, I got to clean this out, dude. I can't leave that like that. Yeah, I figured that would make it. Ugh. See, I just cleaned out the trailer, um, so now it's presentable. Um, we're gonna pull it over here and you guys will see kind of what I have to do. Um, so, first off, make sure our lights are on and everything. We're gonna wanna go hard left here, because we're gonna, I'm gonna wanna line up next to this concrete here, where I'm out of the way, but also where I'm set up to curve up in there and back right back in so do you guys see that truck right there that gray truck the first one that's where we're backing into so what we're gonna do look you see all these other guys that did the same exact thing they just come up here and set up you see what I'm saying I mean, I could sit right here at an angle. I was going to pull up a little bit more in case that van needs to leave, but I think this will be fine, man. Somebody can still get through if they're wanting to do the same thing. Honestly, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. So we'll just chill right here. Once he's done, we pull up through here past the spot and then curve up all the way up to that trailer up there, and then we back straight back in. It's pretty much situation pretty easy I don't see how this is gonna be hard at all but anyways I like places like this these uh, smaller places that got a big you know lot to pull up and straight back it and all that stuff it just makes life a lot easier you know what I mean anyways guys uh, yeah I'll be back with you when he pulls out and uh, we can do something <laughs> I don't know what else to commentate about look at that pretty orange trailer right there things nice isn't it just look at it just glistens in the sunlight Oh man, they don't make them like that no more. Speaking of which, somebody commented on one of my videos and uh, they said, oh my God, you have a radar detector in a truck? Really? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. No, I don't have a radar detector in my truck unless you're thinking the CFI camera equipment or the lane assist thing is a radar detector, I'm assuming. But no, we're not allowed to have radar detectors and yeah, I don't have one. I'm sure some guys out there have them and just hide them if they get pulled over or something or whatever, but uh, no, I do not have a radar detector in here. That thing there is a lane assist. And then those things there are both uh, cameras that film. And then that's a forward facing camera. That's my GPS and that's my phone mount where my phone usually is. And this is a pre-pass for the weights, uh, the weigh stations, and that's my computer. There's nothing else in here. I don't know. I don't have no no radar detector. I don't know what you're. What kind of radar detector are you looking at, man? But yeah, it was funny because it wasn't just like a question. Like, do you have a radar detector in your truck? It was like, oh my god, you have a radar detector in a truck? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. I can't believe it or something like that. Like it was all like, go get them, boy. You know what I mean? But no, I don't have a radar detector, bro. Sorry to bust your bubble. All right, guys, so old boy just uh, pulled out, and now we just wait our turn. So, yeah, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pass. You see this white day cab here. We're going to have to pass him up and then start cutting up to the right to get lined up because you don't want to start turning too early or else then you got to be way up there, and you might not even get your trailer straight by the time you get up there. So when you want to try to get your trailer aimed up with 
you know the spot that i'm going into see and then when you pass it up and you turn back to the right you want to get your tractor back to the right to be even with where the uh the spot is that's ideal what you want to do so like you know you have a spot like that and you're going to come past the spot and then turn back up and come back like that straighten out and then hopefully your trailer is uh even with the spot you don't want to pass it up too much though like i don't want to go too far or else then my trailer is going to be pointed at that white day cab and i don't want that so it's like a, you got to have it like just perfect you know what i mean that's why i usually screw it up because i'm like i gotta hold it a little longer or hold it a little less or okay let's try it now and then it's screwed up but thing is, is there's plenty of space up there to kind of fix it so it shouldn't be too hard sliding them tandems there you guys go there's your view of what it looks like when you slide the tandem y'all see that there's a view from somebody else doing it all right there we go boys all right let's give this a whirl my trailer's kind of pointed to the right right now which is fine we're going to want to pass this spot up and then we're going to want to get back under it and turn it that was pretty good boy look at that old dave did good there boys well, Dave did real good. That was exactly what I wanted right there. All right, guys, so I figured I'd turn back on the camera because uh, guess who pulled up? CFI Day Cab. <laughs> I seen the CFI Day Cab pull. I was like, oh, what's up, bro? I wonder if he came from Joplin because we're in Omaha, Nebraska right now. The closest terminal that we have, and typically, you know, the day cabs are out of the terminals because they go home every night. They park the truck at a terminal, that type of thing. Uh, I think our closest is Joplin. I mean, there is a Transport America yard in Kansas City, which would be closer than that. But I don't know. Maybe we do have some day cab guys with CFI that park at that Transport America terminal. Maybe that's where he came from. But anyways, I'll be back with you when we get done. Unless you guys want to watch him back. But he can film it. He'll probably be backing right next to me where that other day cab just left. Pretty sure that's where he's going to go. We'll see how he does it. You know what he's going to do. He's going to pull up, do a circle, come back around, turn up, and then back. Dave's putting money on it. That's exactly what he's going to do. Let's see what all Dave has up here. You guys want to see while we're waiting on this guy? Let's see. What does Dave have up here? All sorts of stuff, dude. All right, so I got a pack of masks. Jesus. There's my duck, man. I haven't put him back on. <laughs> I, do, I keep forgetting, man. I really do. I've been neglecting his little self, man. His little propeller kind of stopped spinning, though. Make sure that dude ain't backing. We got masks. This was a pack of 50. Probably got 25 of them left in there or more. Uh, we got a bunch of napkins. I usually just stock them up there. When he goes, we're going to film. We got some sanitizer, as you know. Oh, God. That... And you guys wonder where all these stains on my seat come from? From me. It just squirted out when I opened it, dude. I didn't even squeeze it. Uh, we got a pair of uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses. Does anybody want these? Because... Uh, these were uh, my exes, and I don't want them. I wore them for a while. Technically, she gave them to me, but then she always said that I owed her another pair of glasses, so. Oh, never mind. He, he's not backing yet. The box truck was. That's why he wasn't moving. Um, a used mask. What else we got up here? Another used mask. Cause a lot of times I throw them up here. Another used mask. That one looked new, actually. A charger cord. Well, my headset, of course. Another thing. Oh my God! 
Well, still good. It looked dirty inside, but it's the, the label was dirty. Uh, my headset. Flashlight right here. Um, my dad gave me this flashlight, actually. It's a Nebo. This thing is freaking nice. Look, you can bring it up like that. And then you can also have it pulse. Um, pulse red. Like that. So then you can see it, you know, you can set it down and have it sitting there if you're stopped on the side of the road or something to warn people. Um, and it's super bright, man. But when I went... But I went to visit my dad in uh, St. Louis, and he gave me this. He's like, I don't have any need for it. They gave it to us at work. He said they had a promotion with a sponsor from Nebo. And we got more napkins and a pair of scissors and another flashlight here. This was a mag light that I bought. This was the first one, but it it's uh, already started to die on me. And that Nebo down there is a lot better, so I'm not going to use it anymore. And that's it. That's all Dave's crap I keep up there. Mostly masks, napkins, flashlights kind of what I keep up here all right guys so the CFI is waiting on my spot so we're probably not gonna be able to watch him because he's not gonna pull in here until I'm out but the JB hunt just did the exact same thing I was telling y'all he did a circle but he turned up pretty early because of where the CFI truck was and then uh, angled himself that way so he turned early right instead of going up there because he wouldn't have much room because of where the cfi is at so he turned early and went up that way to get his trailer back to where he wanted it and then he's just gonna guide her right here he's gonna be as close to that trailer on the left as he can you know to make sure that he's clear of my truck and just guide it in that's all there is to it man like everybody says it's all about the setup that's what I'm still working on perfecting <laughs> yep he's got it but yeah see like as far as things like that it's very easy it's all the hardest part of backing a truck is the setup that's the hardest part honestly and once you start getting it to where you can set up properly that just makes every back easy you know what i mean you just have to to set up properly that's the number one thing and if you can do that then you know you're going to be golden and that's what i'm trying to learn how to do you know all the different setups and everything to get everything right so all right guys we are loaded and done finally um <laughs> you guys want to hear something funny so like i told you i didn't get to film the cfi backing uh the day cab driver but he walked up and talked to me and uh we started chatting for a little bit and he said are you dave <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm Dave. He was like, oh, I watch your videos. I was like, how'd you know my voice? He was like, yeah. And he said, also, he saw that my stuff was in the same spot. So that's pretty cool that, that day cab driver actually watches my videos, knew who I was, and we talked for, you know, a little 15 minutes until my light turned green and I got out of there. And uh, I do want to say, bro, I totally forgot to, like, ask your name. Like, didn't even think about it. But, uh... He was like, how can I keep up with you? And I was like, well, you can hit me up on Instagram because that's really all I use anymore is uh, Instagram. And uh, yeah, it was pretty funny though. He actually watches my videos. Cool dude. Um, sorry, bro, that I didn't catch your name. I should have asked before you left what your name was, but you know, I know you were trying to get into my spot and I was trying to leave. So it's all good, man. But yeah, it's funny because that is the first driver that has recognized me out in the world. And, uh, you know, I, I knew it was going to happen one time or later. Um, like I said, I've been recognized on my motorcycle before from my moto vlogs. You know, people pass me in a car randomly and be like, Ryan with Dave, you know, which is always pretty funny. And, uh, yeah, but I was like, man, I was like, my views are, you know, pretty good right now at trucking. And you're always at truck stops with other truck drivers. So I'm like, you know, there's no way that... I don't run into some of these guys. And uh, the first one was a CFI driver. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have told me too, you're like, every time I pass a CFI driver, I'm looking. <laughs> That's what you guys always say. So, oh man. I know it's just a matter of time, bro. Matter of time, but that's cool. I enjoy meeting them. Pretty cool to find somebody out in the world that watches my videos. And uh, yeah, guys. 
So the day cab driver told me, which way are you going down to Waco, Texas? I was like, uh, like I hadn't even like put it in my uh, GPS or Google Maps yet. And uh, he's like, you going through Kansas City? I was like, I think. He was like, no, 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 there's a shortcut. Go down Highway 50. Um, well, I put everything into my GPS and Google Maps anyways just to look. And uh, sure enough, uh, 50 was where it was going to take me anyways uh, because I had wrote it down. I was like, yeah, let me write that down, that route, so then I can follow that and uh, it would be quicker. But that's what everything has me going anyway, so I'm just going to follow it. So yeah, I figured I'd show you guys me getting to this truck stop that's only uh, 13 miles away. So we're going to be there pretty soon. I'll just show myself getting there and backing or whatnot. It's funny, the, the, the day cab driver back there, bro, I'm really sorry I don't know your name. I wish I, I, wish I knew his name. Comment on this video and, and tell me, oh, my name's this, bro. All right, for now, we'll call you Adam. So Adam, was he did not look like an Adam. What did he look like? What'd you, let me think, let me think. I think his name was Curtis. All right, so Curtis, Curtis was back there and he, dude, you're forever gonna be known now on my channel as Curtis. There, there's you you are no longer whatever your real name is your name is Curtis if we ever meet again and I throw on the camera if you wanted to be on YouTube of course your name is Curtis bro just roll with it if your name actually is Curtis I am gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna be super impressed with my uh, premonitions anyways what was Curtis tell I done forgot god dang it what was you talking about Dave I do this all the time what was he telling me Shit. Anyways, I'll be back with you when I remember what Curtis told me. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape. To the great unknown.